This assembly, where we at? This assembly is on schedule right now. Bill coils is two days behind. In order for us to be done by next Tuesday, we gotta do 124 a day. We know to communicate with the employees out there what they gotta actually hit. So when's your last day of disassembly? It is 1018. Good improvement. So to recap, last week we went in at 255 absorption. We're saying we've got 266 available. We're gonna go in at 260 because we've got some parts that could possibly not show up. So that'll leave us 6,000. Labor we went in at 112. We're gonna bump that up to 115 because we have 1427. We're gonna run overtime on Friday. Along with that, you've got 2,000 right now projected in overtime. We're gonna bump that up to three because again, we're gonna have some areas behind that's gonna be here Friday and then you got your 1427 projects. So, okay, that'll be the numbers we take in. All right, good morning everybody. As usual, we got a lot to cover this morning. We have uh, got a lot done this year. But the thing you need to understand is right now, as of probably about this week, we, we have met our plan for profit, right Matt? Yes. So every dollar we earn from here to the end of the fiscal year is uh, over and above our plan. So obviously that goes towards our bonus. Uh, you know, we talked about critical numbers for this year, material usage, that's going to continue on to next year. Uh, there's great work being done by the teams as far as working on these new quotes. We have the four major quotes. Us winning those quotes is going to depend on the stuff that we've been doing, you know, quality and availability of the product, but also getting our, our costs down. Let's move to the income statement. Start off with our uh, labor projection. We're actually going to go up. To 115. Production. Production sticking at 11. Friday we will have production working. It won't be a full group, but we will have production working on Friday. So good month. Materials. Uh, staying at 28. Warehouse. 17. Looking at our overtime. Production's going to go up to three. Okay. With the numbers, the changes, the 1427s, uh, and then a couple of part numbers on the alternator side coming in some other reclass seed stock coming in is what's moved the numbers. Right. That's, a, that's a good effort too. Uh, you guys did some proactive things last week waiting for those brush testing to be done and that's that's what we got to think about. How do we do things in parallel? So that was a good move. You know we're going to talk about this tomorrow uh, with the people that from here on out for the rest of the month every dollar we earn is going toward, toward the bonus. Great job everybody and let's just keep it rolling. All right, good afternoon. Thank you. As usual, we have a lot to cover today. We'll get into the numbers. I want to talk a little bit about our year-to-date performance and some of the critical numbers that we're working on. And then uh, I'll speak a little bit about next year, what we're seeing, that we just came up our high involvement planning meetings a week ago. Emily, you have an update from sales. Yes, the plan at the beginning of the year was 27051000 and as of today, we have firm orders for $27,393,000. So, we get to put another band up on the board. <laughs> uh, great job on the audits and the ISO certifications. Let's start the numbers. P price. $171,000 favorable. $1,000 improvement from last week. 171. Team three, forecast uh, orders available to ship. 3718. 3718, thank you. Inventory adjustments. No change in inventory adjustments. Labor performance. Labor performance variance is going to go down two to three thousand, unfavorable. That's because we're able to raise our absorption up some with the hours in the plant. Three, okay, so we got a two improvement there. Our bonus accrual. We have an increase to 65. Uh, we're projecting now one level higher on our bonus for the year. All right? Good news, right? All right, absorption. Overhead absorption is going to go up five to 260,000. Up five to 260. So we got a $33,000 improvement from last week. Very good job. 385. 385, thank you. And our interest expense. Stays at seven. Great job, folks. Another great month. <laughs> so 
So let's talk a little bit about uh, where we are right now. No loan, how about that? So what you're doing is you have record profits, you have record revenues, and now you'll have no debt. And that's a good place to be. All right, so uh, Doug is gonna take you through uh, the details of the, of the rules for the new rounds of SRCopoly, and then uh, we're gonna play around? Yes. All right, great. I'm ready. All right, every team captain's been given a set of rules, but I'll go over them real quickly. As Tim indicated, uh, interest rate's 10%. Each time you pass go, you'll pay 10% on your existing loan balance. The objective is cash. Just like our bonus related cash, the objective now is cash. And we're gonna continue 12 rounds uh, trying to grow your business. And then we'll recalculate your valuation, we'll look at the change, we'll look at your cash, we'll look at your uh, overall equity, and there'll be prizes awarded based on that. Okay, first team to roll, team three. Double four. Double four. Okay. You want to buy that? Well, let me find out where you're at first. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Stater. Uh, Stater assembly for $220. Team three, roll. Uh, seven. Seven. Go CHR. Ooh, HR. Don't pass go. All right. All right, next team, team four. Eight. C-E-D-E -E circle. Eight dollars to team six. Okay. Team two, did you, uh, did you pay $50 to get out of jail yet? All right, I'll, I'll be your banker. <laughs> I paid $50 to get out of HR. <laughs> All right, team one. 10. All right, another community chest. What does ESOP stand for? ESOP. What does it stand for? All right. Okay, forty-five dollars. Everybody should have been given a balance sheet. So fill out today's transactions on that balance sheet. This is how the SRC Opoly is going to run for another eleven right here. cycles. So when we complete the next eleven cycles, we'll have another award. But remember what this is leading up to. We have yeah. our we have our financial literacy training for income statement, right? And we still have a few people, probably some new, newer employees that haven't gone through that financial literacy training. We have the balance sheet certification that's available for everybody. The third leg next year will be uh, have a CEO certification. So that's what's coming. Get your income statement, your balance sheet certification, and look forward to the next one next year. Okay, so the one thing we have to remember today leaving this meeting is that we're going to focus on the material usage number and we're going to do that for the rest of the year to get us to that next bonus level. Thank you. <laughs>